Russian soldiers used golf carts during attack in Ukraine. Forbes reports about their failures. The war in Ukraine continues and near the city of Kupiansk in the Kharkiv region, Russian occupiers carried out a catastrophic attack. The enemy attacked in at least five golf carts loaded with infantry and the Ukrainian troops blew up the enemy vehicles, stopping the attack and likely inflicting heavy casualties on the Russians. Forbes writes, in an attempt to replace destroyed armored vehicles with new armored vehicles, either newly built or taken out of long-term storage, the Kremlin is equipping more units with civilian-style vehicles, including Chinese-made Desert Cross 1003, ATVs and Chinese and Belarusian off-road motorcycles, the article notes. Journalists noted that the enemies on motorcycles and quad bikes have no chance of success in a confrontation with the entrenched defenders of Ukraine who are supported by artillery and drones. Boosting the armor on ATVs and motorcycles with anti-drone cells doesn't seem to help much as the extra armor slows down the already underpowered vehicles, making them more vulnerable to other forms of Ukrainian firepower. The article emphasizes, in all, the Russians lost in excess of 70,000 people between May the 1st and June the 30th, according to the ministry. Ukrainian casualties are evidently much lighter. Up armoring the ATVs and bikes with anti-drone cages doesn't seem to help very much as the extra armor slows down the already underpowered vehicles, making them more vulnerable to other forms of Ukrainian firepower. The resumption of US aid to Ukraine in April following a six-month blockade by Russia-friendly Republican lawmakers in the US Congress has seen billions of dollars worth of artillery shells and anti-tank missiles flow to frontline Ukrainian forces. Weirdly, some Russian troops praise the same civilian-style vehicles that are getting them killed in increasing numbers. The motorcycle is increasingly becoming part of the list of essential frontline vehicles, one Russian military blogger claimed. On July the 16th, the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported that yesterday, in the Kupiansk direction, the enemy attacked Ukrainian soldiers five times. Ukrainian defenders, in particular, repelled enemy assaults in the Kharkov region in Petropavlovka. The Russians are suffering very serious losses on our soil in equipment and manpower. The total losses of the Russian Federation as of July the 16th, 2024 among manpower are approximately 561,400 invaders. In addition, Russia has lost a large amount of equipment, including 15,862 combat armored vehicles and 8,227 tanks destroyed.